Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria, where, guys, we are at war, and I'm about to go crush these sons of Italians who are all stupid in their own right for being so annoying to me in this entire campaign. I mean, really, if there's any nation that's going to get the annoyingness award, it's going to be them. Like, just flat out, they've annoyed me so much in this campaign, it's not even funny. So, yeah, I'll be taking glad glad tidings to go destroy them. And right now we are colonizing Africa, which is going pretty good. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of expansion into Somali. I mean, Somali would be a pretty good place to do some expansion into. So we should probably get ourselves prepared for that. Let me go start sending my troops over there. And we're just going to catch... I think what we're going to do over here is... We're just going to casually expand. Can I just... You know what? It would probably... Oh, and then now it's status protector. It's only five. Yes. Sweet. Wait, is that for everyone or is that just for African nations? I can't... Sorry, people. I can't remember. But if it's just for one person, then I'll use it on Ethiopia. Because Ethiopia is such a big colony. It's going to just require a status protector. But, like, Oman. Can I do it on Oman? It's only five. It's only five for Oman. Is it five for everything? Because I'm going to... I'm just about to cry. Denam... It's five! Oh my goodness, we could definitely, like, expand. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Ethiopia. When I get the opportunity again, I'm going to get an established protectorate over all of you. And we're just going to go fight you all off. Because the Scramble for Africa, while impressive, is not going to really provide that much for us. In terms of a colony right next to... Ethiopia, so we're just going to casually just conquer, you know, that land. It'd be just, it'd be, just basically what I'm saying, people, is much easier just for us to go conquer it than, you know, wait around, so. And right now we are doing a serious war with Italy. I should be paying more attention to that. <laughs> but I'm just assuming, I'm, I'm just kind of assuming my men got it and, you know, the, the Italians are going to get crushed. It's just a matter of time before they get crushed. And as many people who want to who want to rip Ita Italy a new one, I am perfectly fine with that. If you guys want to destroy Italy beyond all reason, please, I beg of you, allies, add as many stuff as you want to go destroy Italy. I want Italy, because I want Italy to be destroyed in this war. I don't want them to ever come back. Okay, and you guys, yeah, we're, we're still building up all of our fort levels and all these, like, African colonies. Because we want to make sure, we want to make sure if any other European country ever got over here to be like, ah. Why did they build Afri Why did they build full-fledged forts in African colonies? I mean, seriously, this is a pain to conquer, and I'd be like, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna send our people around the Cape of Good Hope. Hopefully, they won't die, but you know, there is a ch possibility they will die. So they might die. <laughs> I mean, I can't really say anything else. You guys might die, and I I will be sad for that. And so far, the colony. So far, the world's looking okay. Okay, I mean the colonies are still kind of functioning. I, I don't know why I'm having communists right now show up. Um, right now, in terms of what's happening in Italy, I'm still not paying attention. I mean, this is—I know this is really bad. I know this, people, but I'm just like, so Italy, what are you gonna do? I mean, really, if you fight me, I I'm really. No, I'm going to keep this war dragging for as long as I can and make sure you guys are ripped, are ripped a new one. Because I kind of want this to be a great war, but it didn't become a great war. So we're kind of going to have to settle for you guys being destroyed. And yeah, I, I, it's going to be sad, but you guys really do need to get destroyed. I'm going to go send these guys in right over there. I think we basically destroyed almost all of the Italians' main army. It's all dead. We've, we've destroyed any chance they have of fighting back. So, I mean, look at this. We just need to go destroy that army in the mountains and we should be fine. I'll combine these guys just for now, just so that they have, like, um, more power than these guys do. And we can go easily to destroy them. And so, yeah, that's, that's basically my extent of this war I'm actually going to be fighting. It seems like there are some revolts, some resistance over here. Resistance? But then again, the, the, the Spanish haven't really mobilized yet, so I'm pretty sure this front's going to get crushed eventually. We just have to make sure that our allies just keep moving in down here and keep a good perspective on how do you crush these guys. Like, keep the Italians down and just keep on moving. 
I mean, Italy's gonna try to fight back. As you guys can see, they're trying. They're trying their darndest to try to fight me. Okay, and it seems like the two seems like they finally divided the army. Go send this army to go this way. Make sure that these guys are under protection. Seems like Switzerland already got out of the war, which I find hilarious. And we're gonna have to slowly move over here to make sure that we get this colony. Um, our ships probably not even close. Yeah, not even close. But at least they're not dying. I love the fact that our ships are not dying. Okay. And it seems like our friends are even already helping us siege back that. Okay, you guys. Yeah, just destroy these guys. Destroy whatever you can. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is, this is, oh, Italy. Y you guys should not have made me mad. Because I am, when I'm mad, I will get you guys back at your weakest moment. And this was obviously your weakest moment. Because you guys aren't going to be able to fight me at all. I mean, you guys are putting up a good effort for the fact I'm not even really paying attention. But... I'm not really paying attention to this battle. I'm just kind of letting them... I'm just kind of letting my allies do what they want. And just seeing what happens. Wow, we just destroyed the boots of the world. And over here, Germany is basically fighting this war alone against Russia. Which does give us a good opportunity to see how strong is Russia by itself. Um, which is actually quite kind of an interesting question. Because I actually don't know how strong Russia is by itself. I don't know if it's strong enough to face against powerful nations or... You know what I mean, guys? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if Russia's finally recovered from, like, that long time ago war. Or if they're still kind of in a pitiful state. You guys go this way. Yeah, you guys already know. You guys already know to go this way. We're gonna go crush this army. Okay. Wow, we just... No, you guys don't get to go that way. We get to go down here. And let's see, you guys are trying to retreat. Got you. And now we're going to have a big battle right there, where I'm going to win in a second, just to have to get my soldiers. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So does anyone want anything from the boots? Uh, two Sicilies, two Sicilies acquires Capilonia. Good. Keep rip Yeah, just keep doing that, people. I, I don't even care. I will keep this war going for as long as you guys need to do war stuff. Oh, barnacles. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I won. Oh, good. How much I thought I was going to lose. I'm not really paying attention to my... There is one thing, though, is that the Italians do have a decent, like... Well, how should I put this? They have a decent-sized um, shipbuilding force. So, ew. Just, just let me land. Just let me get my colony. There we go. All right. So, do we have our declare war? We do, we did do a war justification for them. No, we have not yet. Okay, justify and protectorate. Okay, even if I gained it, and then even if I gained a 10 infamy, I should be fine. All right, and yeah, we don't, we don't really have to fight this anymore. So pull back men, pull back men. Well, actually, go pull back, go pull back these men, go have them heal. You guys go down here, go crush these guys. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is the end. This is totally the end. Oh, two thousand was lady. Oh, that's such a that's such a mean move by my part. I didn't even know I did that, but that is cool. All right, do you guys want anything else from this war? Like seriously, allies, pack on as much as you want. I don't even care what it is. If you guys want to destroy them completely, I am all for it. I personally don't care. Okay, let me and also let me just expand all the way over here so I make sure I kind of block. Maybe I could even, like, get a good-sized circle by going right here of Africa. Hmm, that could be pretty nice. Apparently, for some reason, like, Britain's not really expanding over there, which I found kind of stupid. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a cosplay for, for annexing our Ethiopian friends. So, Ethiopia, you guys are going to be established protectorate on the... Yeah, you guys, you guys don't... Don't worry, allies. You guys don't have to fight against Africa. I can do this war by myself. At least I hope so. And by hope so, I mean I'm going to do it. It's just going to take me a little bit. Okay. Back to the war with you guys of Italy. Come on, guys. Hmm. We have 98%. So that means we're basically won. And they're, they're done. Come on, guys. Keep. I'm hoping that my allies... Let's see if I can just squeeze a little bit more out of my allies. Come on, guys. Get as much as you need. 
accomplished. Like seriously, you guys can rip as much as you want into these guys. I don't even care. Like, they don't, they, you guys can do whatever you want with these guys. I don't even care. Right, in, in uh, Ethiopia land though, I'm just going to be casually conquering all of their um, soldier production areas. Because I could probably defeat whatever they have easily. I just need to make sure that they don't have enough soldiers to protect themselves. Because making soldiers is probably the most annoying thing. Ooh, that's a good sized army. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good sized army right there gonna die either way but it's a good size all right and I think what's preventing my allies from actually doing is that they are um they haven't gotten the war gold yet but this is I'm just watching this and this is really quite funny just seeing all the like death and decay in Italy yeah Italy next time don't destroy my land okay this is the lesson you should get out of this is that I'm a scary I'm a scary mofo and you should not mess with me okay Okay, you, you got that? You got that, Italy? Okay. Oh, and you're right. Oh, and to add injury to insult, you move a colony right next to me. Huh. That's totally not going to die. And I'm probably going to have to go... Once I go destroy the capital, I'll go send my troops to go destroy them. Alright, there we go. Go, my men. Fast as a, fast as a speed of light. Okay. And... Have you guys, you guys are sieging really, really slowly, but you guys are sieging, which is good, and now you guys are spreading out. Good, I guess, but not good at the same time. Alright, let's see. So, proposed peace, can I get both of these things? No, I cannot. <sighs> well, seems like it was just fun to beat you up, Italy. That's all I gotta say. So, give me Lombardia. Thank you. For giving me back my land. And let's see, did you guys upgrade the forts? You guys didn't even upgrade the forts. Man, that was that was a terrible rule underneath you, Italy. You guys stunk. And you guys are still at war too, so that means your economy's still gonna crumble. Oh gosh. They're go they're gonna be dealing with a lot of stuff for a lot of years, people. Like we we messed up Italy for a long time, which is what I like. And they're gonna be messed up for all the times they just... Who cares? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even read the... I, I know what the event is, so I know what... What kind of pass you're supposed to choose, but... Maybe I should have been a little bit more diplomatic in that option, but I was just like... Eh. Let's just go the other way. Alright, let's go scientific observation. Let's go there. And let's see, now you guys are all gone. I'm going to divide my men up just to go hunt down the military. You guys go that way. And we're just going to try to see if we can get these guys before they... Jindoism! Yay! You guys are so my people. You guys should so know I love Jindoism. Alright, people, come on, catch them! Catch them! Catch them, men! Catch them! Don't you dare! Don't you dare escape! Ah. Okay. We're going to block... We're going to block them, and we're going to go right there. They shouldn't... Yeah, there we go. Ha! And I think I'm going to be able to hit them before they move. They're men, so then we could probably siege down another place. And then we could probably get more land over here. Alright, nope. Seems like they're smarter. So let's just go down here. We got a new colony right here, Bengutsu. There we go. Upgrade that to a protectorate. Seems like we are also like having a little bit of factory trouble. Subsidize everything for right now. I'll start I'll start looking at all my factories, making sure. Why do we have a glass factory that I'm paying 300? Is it that one? Because I'm going to close that. Uh, Transdubia. Uh, this is probably going to be easy. Oh, wait. I just saw it. Okay. So, Transdubia. Transdubia's glass factory. Yeah, no. You guys aren't even making that much money for me in my total economy. Let's see. What else? A printing press in, in Glacia Lodamia. I'm not paying, like, basically, people, I decide not to pay more than $100 per thing. Yeah, you guys are even making me money. So, yeah, you guys crumble. All right, and who else is also making over 100 Explosive factory in Bohemia. Well, actually, I need to keep those open because I kind of need explosive factories. There we go. That should cancel out some of my uh, problems I'm having. 
and let's just start let's just keep conquesting all of all of Ethiopia's land you know just just casually we're just gonna casually conquer all this land I mean there is a chance that they might do something I mean there's always that but okay you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out one Hussia and this Hussia might die but let's see uh, yes it probably is gonna die what it's gonna do get down there we go what it's gonna do is it's going to basically keep these guys here so that they don't run let's see uh, it's still too soon there we go two days this could probably still catch the other guys and still be able to kill these guys there we go there ha 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 Oh, yeah, don't do that. I don't hate the AI dance. The AI dance is annoying. There we go. Now we kill them. Go down here. And now we're just going to start sieging up the rest of, rest of Ethiopia. And probably we're probably going to also go declare war on Somaliland. But that's on, a later, that's on a little bit later date. And there's apparently a gigantic war happening where... The Communist Scandinavia? Huh. I don't know when they had the Bolshevik Revolution, but yeah, Scandinavia is now communist. So, yeah, they're fighting North Germanic Federation right now, too. Probably for this land right here. I, I mean, most likely it's for this land right here. Most likely they're probably going to win it, too, because they're dealing with a lot. France is, is also dealing with a lot, but yeah. And Italy's still in this war. How is it? Their economy must be, like, so burnt out right now. It must be like, ah, more war, more war, more war. Oi. We're going to slowly siege down some of this land. The ultra level, some more rebels, I should basically say. I'm also having some supply issues. Get back to Trev, Treviso, because that's a good place to be. Because all this land right here is still having to be upgraded because the, cause the uh, Italians weren't good with their economy. Which really does stink because... I was hoping that the Italians would have a much better economy. So, let's see. Right now, this army is about ready to be built up. So, let's see. We can add how many cannons? Let's add three cannons to that army. And now we can start building it up, which is good. And Russia is going to destroy the North Germanic Federation. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. We also see some dead um, Ethiopians. We're going to slowly go over there. We're just going to move kind of slowly. Um, I mean, we really don't have to worry too much about them doing stuff, because we can probably get them done before they can... Basically, what I'm saying, people, is that we can probably siege faster than they can siege. So, we don't have to be too, too worried about it. I mean, we do have to be a little bit worried, but we do we don't have to be too, too worried about it. Uh, the Austro Historical Society, we shall support them, just because I'm a Paradox Gamer, and we love history. Hmm. And taxes. We also love taxes. Okay. And tensions of... Okay, so the tensions right now in some kind of place. Let's see. Is there any part of my country? Of course not. Ooh. That is really not good. When you have that much tensions, that usually means somebody is enforcing it. Or helping it along. What is... What? Oh, Italian unification. Is this Italian unification? Oh, what? What do you guys want? Italian unification! Ah, Those Italians, they're, they're trying. The Italians are seriously trying to annoy me right now. Like, they are doing their best to try to make me hate them even more. And you know what? It's working profoundly. Like, if... I hate all three of these nations right here. And they all deserve to die in their own special way. But the Italians are, are holding almost a special point in my heart. And it seems like it seems like we've destroyed most of their making of men to the point where we can just go around and just go siege down everything. Which is good. Because I just want to go siege down everything, honestly. Prophecies of the Austrian West Galicia. If you give me farming efficiency, I don't care what you what you say. Alright. I'm also losing a ton of money, but I have so much money, it's like insane. Right now I think the most that's costing us right now is. Hmm. 
Let's go whistle tour and lavish expenses. Huzzah! And for some reason, it is time to end today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.